folks, Tim here again with another episode of Dragon Air. Alright, so when we left off last, our little friend Forbit wants us to steal uh, a dragon scale. So in, in the comment section of my first uh, Dragon Air video, somebody suggested I get that uh, for a dollar you could get an epic weapon. When I went and looked, it wasn't available, but there was uh, an epic epic hero chest. Now, I haven't used it because I don't know what's good, I don't know what isn't, and I don't want to screw it all up. So, we're going to hold on to that for now. Alright. So, do we get to investigate this again? We do not. Let's check out the sparkly over here. The stone tablet is inscribed with an age-old line. My eyes can light fires. My hands turn stone to gold. I should not be forgotten here. Below this line, it reads, Thanks for the eyeballs, man. I won't forget them. Yours, Forbrit. <laughs> okay. So we just mine some iron ore. The stone tablet is engraved with a neat inscription. God, please bless my beloved. May she, may she be safe in his life. Inscribed below the tablet is another newer row of words. Never mind the God who abandoned you. Your ring looks nice, though. <laughs> so so Forbert's just been over here robbing shit. Another XP potion. I suppose we should be holding on to those. Alright, let us try to steal a dragon scale. The black dragon before you is slumbering, silent like, as though oblivious to everything around it. We'll try to steal. I knew I should have gone with some dexterity. Oh, we succeeded. Outstanding. Should we try to steal the gold? And we stole the gold. Sweet. Alright. So we got the dragon scale. We got some gold. Ah, how'd it go? Did you get the dragon scales? Oh, you're asking me? <laughs> Don't be fooled by my appearance. Back in the day, I was the most gifted blacksmith in the Northland of Adentia. Even human emperors sought my craftsmanship for his armor. Well, but you know... When someone reaches a certain level of success, they'll always desire more. I forged armor for generals and emperors that could withstand any weapon, but it still wasn't enough. I earned a craft in even more impregnable armor. One that can even withstand the flames of a dragon. And clearly, stock of the material plane could no longer satisfy me. You can probably already guess what happened next. Oh my, enough of this! Don't forget the dragon scale! The dragon scale! Ha ha! You really did it! Come on now, gimme, gimme! These precious beauties are said to do wonders in armor forging. <laughs> Just wait till I get back to the Northlands with this mute. I'll give those mediocre dwarves a run for their money. So you seriously believe that we could make it back to the material plane alive? Absolutely. Why fight if death's a foregone conclusion? A positive attitude. 
Perhaps that's exactly what we need. All right. I'm a member of your team now. I'm coming with you. Oh, by the way, you've done me a oh. tremendous favor, so I must give you a little something me. in return. Here, take this. That's a hero who could take a lot of damage. So he's a rare, right? And he's a captain. Taking damage from an enemy and inflict with a debuff. Inflicted with a debuff reduces the damage taken by 30%. Deals cold damage to an enemy with a 100% chance of knocking up the target. So knocking up is unable to launch basic attacks or cast spells. And then his ultimate. Stomps on the ground dealing cold damage to enemies within range with a 75% chance of inflicting stunned for 5 seconds. And he's a captain. So... Everybody else in the team is going to get 18% hit points. Alright, cool. Hey now, I already told you that I'm a blacksmith, no? Here, place this in your cap. We can make some quality pieces with this. Go to the camp to unlock the forging bench. All right. So what can we forge? So that's basic equipment. That's all we can do. Oh, so I get a common. And gloves, which increases defense. Wanna try again? Let's try again. We got a 17, so something is perfect. So we got another glove. And we got uh Warbeck. Sweet. Okay. Alright, so. I'm gonna th I'm gonna say the percentage is probably better than flat, right? So we give the flat to him. And then if he's our tank, he should get the percentage. All right. At least I think that's how it should work. All right, let's go back outside. And then we want to go this way. Look, that's the one we're after. But something about him doesn't seem right. It's over. It's all over. All right, let's talk to Gulal. It's over. Everything is lost now. There's no point in anything. But how? No. Everything is pointless now. The Harkening Altar has been ruined. Everything I've waited for, everything I've wanted, they're all lost now. Besides which, the Child of Chaos has now awakened. None of us can escape now. That's it. It's all over. 
So you know all about it? About the Unstill and the Child of Chaos? I can hear the voices. The voices of the Bewildered and the Unstill. The voices within the plane. They can only be heard here. Ah, uh, this must be the newcomer. The voice is not intact. I can hear it. Something has stripped a part away from you. I'm very sorry. When you say it's all over, what do you mean? Did you spy on the hearkening altar behind me? It is the sole link between the Chaos Universum and the World of Order. This is why I wait here each and every day. There's someone very important to me. I want to hear her voice just one last time, no matter what. But now, thanks to that blow it just took, the Harkening Altar has ceased functioning. My final glimmer of hope has all but vanished with it. Cry. Do you mean to say you want to try reactivating the Harkening Altar? Yes, I do. No, that's impossible. It holds potent planar magic that is far beyond the realms of any being's control. Still, if you want to try, I'll not stop you. Just be sure not to expect too much. Alright. Let's see, uh... We can... You place your hand atop the hearkening altar. Suddenly, countless voices flood in your ears as a mysterious power surges from the device before you, resonating with something in your body. Did it? Okay, so even if I'm not Child of Chaos, I'm special, right? I must be special. Uh, no! Watch out! Oh. Here comes somebody that wants to get their ass whooped. To bring our little friend into Let's battle here. And let's go. Victorious once more. Oh, what a shock. Huh? Something just fell from the Harkening Altar. Hold on a moment. Is that a dice? Wouldn't it be die? <laughs> that seems to be the legendary dice that summons souls. Why not give it a go? Now I can summon heroes. Try to summon the heroic soul with the starlight stone die. Tribal Warrior Vethak. True neutral. 
Blaze Land Lizard Folk. Pretty cool looking. I have one more. Shall we summon another? What does Dauntless do? This type of hero is good at eliminating enemies with basic attacks. They can launch basic attacks frequently are, and are able to deal a lot of damage in combination with each other. Okay, specialize in synergizing with heroes of the same type of boost damage. Okay. Considered, this is considered to be a basic attack. And then impetuous whirlwind. Nice. So I'm gonna okay. Oh, so it actually says common. Okay. I don't think I have anything else. So, I got two new heroes. What is this? Okay, daily check-in. Of high rarity. Okay. So that's what I have. So tomorrow, when I log in, I will get this guy. And we'll have to see what that is. Rebuild your hero to get back to the growth material. Uh, no. I don't know what that does, so no. And then hard training. Uh, complete quests and collect points to win bountiful rewards. Okay, do I have points? Okay. I'm going to assume those are dungeons that I'm not ready for yet. Alright. Clear Grave of Venom, Grave of Curse, Grave of Rot. Pre-register Objective Reach to get incredible rewards by completing Journey Milestones. Okay. Break through the mysterious. Okay, so so I guess this is if you can get your friends to join you to play it. Um, I don't know how to invite. I don't think my journey level is level six yet. And then upcoming events. So these are things that are coming. Twinkle and the Inferno. All right. So, I know that Twinkle is the name of one of Drist's swords. So that'll, that'll be cool. Whoa. So, 11-17. Well, that's next Friday. The 18th is Saturday. to summon a legendary hero, Utior. Okay, so these are all summonings. Summoning stuff. That's cool. Alright. So, I have a new... What is that still... lit up for? Alright, so I can get rewards by following on Discord, Facebook, and the YouTube. a blessing to increase the probability. Um, okay, 
Let's try it like this. Is there something for me to summon? Oh, so I can summon one. Select a hero to receive blessing. As the event starts, you can choose any legendary hero of the event to be blessed. If the summoned legendary hero isn't the blessed one after obtaining the blessing, the chances of obtaining blessed one will be increased. Okay. But I don't know who any of these people are. I don't know who I would want. So there's six days left on that. Alright, so... What led okay, so in the comments please let me know what, what legendary heroes am I looking for? Um you know I, I just I don't wanna I don't wanna piss away summons, right? Yeah, I don't wanna do that. So Amazing. Absolutely incredible. Oh no, sadly not. Nevertheless, you've given me hope, newcomer. You are aware that not everyone can summon heroic souls to fight for them, yes? Ah, see that? I am. I'm special. I still have no idea how you do it, but you're obviously imbued with a peculiar, special power of sorts. And if I stick with you, there may come a day. You'll summon the one I have awaited to be by my side. I will accompany you and join your fight, newcomer. Then, to thank you again so for all that you've done for me, yes, I feel a welcome that gift I is in order. I wish it didn't do that, right? I wish it would just pause what they're doing in the actual game and just give me that screen so I could have explored it a little more. But... It is what it is. This is the Otherworld Horn, the most indispensable treasure I have ever owned as a channeler. It can summon much needed aid from other planes. While its power is not comparable to evocation dice, it possesses its own special power. And now, it is clearly of far greater use in your hands than in mine. Please take it. Great. Our team is complete. It's time to shatter the unstill seal. Go to the camp to unlock the other world horn. Okay. Place the horn on the box to your left. There we go. All right. So what does the horn do? Let's find out because we're going to use it. Summons remaining one of four. One unit of energy restores every 11 hours. Please select three labels to find matched allies. So we'll go with orc. Let's go with ranged. Well, let's go with ice. I, I don't know what any of that is, so we're just going to play around with it. So we got, the horn emits a crispy sound, successfully establishing a connection with the other world. I heard your summon, and I want to be your ally. I can't wait to battle alongside you. Embrace your doom. Oh, okay. So it summons characters. I'm going to assume that means he's ranged. So he's is good at boosting allies' powers or weakening enemies' power. Trembling voices is passive skill. When the hero deals when the hero deals damage to an enemy, there is a 30% chance of inflicting the target with an attack penalty. Alright, and that reduces attack by 25%. Battle skill. 
deals poison damage to an enemy and reduces 20% of their ultimate energy. Okay. And then their ultimate. Deals poison damage to enemies within range. Has a 75% chance of inflicting healing reduction to enemies above 50% hit points for 10 seconds and a 75% chance of inflicting healing prohibition on enemies below 50% for 10 seconds. So healing reductions reduces healing received by 50%. Healing prohibition reduces... Wow. That seems good. I don't know if it's good. Feel free to uh, let me know in the comment section. Alright, so that's the only one of those we get. And what do you say, since we're at the, I don't know, 20-something minute mark, uh, that we take a break right here. So, uh, any you know, anybody that knows more about this game, I would love some tips. Um, you know, I'm, I'm sitting on a legendary summon. I'm sitting on an epic summon. I just want to make sure I don't summon any trash. So the... Nope, not what I wanted. Okay, so the rarity chest. Click rewards, uh, click rewards preview to view available heroes. So it's any epic hero, right? Um, I don't know. If anybody has a suggestion on what I should use that on, please feel free to chime in and let me know. All right. Um, you know, if you're enjoying this, uh, please do me a favor and hit the like button if you're interested in more content or more videos in, in my adventure, then please hit the subscribe button. I don't know if you could tell it makes me incredibly uncomfortable to ask people to do that. But uh, yeah, so we're going to end it here. You folks have a great day, and I will catch you later.